ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. Today I'm going to be taking a look at some endangered stadiums in the state of California. And there are a lot of stadiums, so let's begin with the Rose Bowl. Now, is the Rose Bowl really endangered? I don't think so, but it's in a very weird position. It reminds me a little bit of the Cotton Bowl, where it is a legendary stadium, but they've kind of just left it alone. And it's obviously obsolete at this point. Not that, again, they're going to replace it or really do anything in terms of trying to do a huge renovation, but I do think an exterior renovation could be in order for the Rose Bowl. I don't think it's a good situation for UCLA because of the crazy high capacity 92K. They have to tarp off a lot of the seats. I know you could say, you know, it's the Rose Bowl. It's amazing that UCLA plays there, but it really just doesn't help them, especially in the 21st century. So it wouldn't surprise me at all if the Rose Bowl got a very tame renovation, similar to what they recently announced with the Cotton Bowl, but most certainly they will be keeping it. It's really the location, the surrounding mountains, and the beautiful sunset that it always gets. Also, I could see it getting new seats. This is also a very similar type deal to another stadium in the state of California. That would be the LA Coliseum. And the LA Coliseum was getting old. They got brand new seats. They obviously added a bunch of suites to the one side of it. They're not going to do that, do that with the Rose Bowl, obviously. Although I guess the one side that's not facing the mountains they could build up. Technically, they could. But 92,000 in terms of capacity is a lot already. I don't think they're going to build on top of that. They would have to take some seats out and then potentially build up maybe a smaller second deck. Again, you don't want to block any view of the mountains. So it would have to be on the other side of the stadium. So I do think the Rose Bowl at some point could get a renovation. They've kind of just let it rot. And some people like that, you know, but even like Fenway, Wrigley Field, those are stadiums that have received renovations. They've improved them recently. So you would think the Rose Bowl at some point would be due for a renovation. I'm sure it's still going to look relatively the same, but that is the first stadium. It's not endangered, but I could see it potentially getting a renovation. Next, we do have the Oakland Coliseum. So this one is very obvious. It will be demolished within, I would say, the next three or four years at the latest. You do have the A's leaving the stadium at the end of the year. Possibly the stadium could host a AAA team as the A's move in to a AAA park in Sacramento. That team's going to need a place to play, and they might play some games at the Coliseum, although I don't think that's necessarily realistic. And if they don't end up playing games at the Coliseum next year, we will see this demolished ASAP. And I also think another stadium, or I guess this is an arena, the Oakland Arena could be demolished as well. It's right next to the Coliseum. And they've got all that parking surrounding it. That area is going to be totally redeveloped. Both of those are endangered stadiums for sure. Obviously, Oakland Arena is in a different position. The Warriors don't play there anymore. It hosts various events. It is kind of at this point uh, irrelevant in terms of the sports world. But I could see it getting demolished within the next few years. Definitely endangered as well. The next endangered stadium, it is going to be Angel Stadium. So the LA Angels are kind of in a weird spot right now. This is a stadium that's received multiple renovations, the most recent one coming in 1997, and they have discussed potentially doing an exterior renovation to kind of spruce up the area in 2018, 2019. It didn't happen. They've got a very unstable ownership situation. Artie Moreno saying he wanted to sell the team, then saying he wasn't going to sell the team. They do not have good contracts. It is unstable at this point, and I do see them leaving Angel Stadium and possibly going to a different city in and around Anaheim. The situation with Anaheim has always been strange. Are they the Anaheim Angels? Are they the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim? It's really going to depend on the ownership. If new ownership wants to move the team with the potential lease, we could see something like that happen. If they keep the same owner, I'm guessing they're staying somewhere in California. And then when it comes to MLB, this is really not a team that struggles with attendance that bad. Now, sure, this year it's going to be low, but that's due to a myriad of reasons. It's it's not necessarily that they're always drawing 13 or 14K. This is not a Miami Marlins situation. It's not a Rays situation. There is a fan base there to where if they were good, they would be drawing, I would guess, around 33 to 35K every night. There's enough population around in Anaheim to be able to facilitate something like that. Uh, But I guess we will see. At this point, I would say Angel Stadium with the lease coming up in five or six years, it is endangered. And I would not be surprised if it got demolished by the year 2030 or 2031 with the Angels possibly going to 
a surrounding area in and around Anaheim. But really, are you going to dump more money into Angel Stadium at this point, built in the early 60s? I mean, you could argue, well, Dodger Stadium was built in the 60s, but this is a stadium that it's been through a lot. They renovated it to make it multi-purpose. They added a bunch of seats and then they, then they took them out. And I do think at this point it is obsolete. It's not necessarily a dump, but there are certain aspects of the ballpark. For example, just in general, now this is something that they did to themselves. It doesn't really have much to do with the ballpark, but the right field wall is just ridiculous. There's really no way to renovate it and bring the fence in. So they decided to just put a yellow line up like halfway up the wall. And if you hit a baseball off the wall, it's a home run apparently at Angel Stadium, but they also have other things like down the right field line is a, a really weird area. The upper deck configuration is a really old. So I don't think Angel Stadium is going to last past 2031. At this point, I would consider it an endangered stadium. You do have the SAP Center in San Jose. So there are a lot of NHL arenas that are like this. They are very bare bones. They do the job, but there's nothing really special about them. I don't think this arena is endangered, but it wouldn't surprise me if in the next five to 10 years, there was some type of maybe $150 million renovation to this arena. And then you also do have the Honda Center that's located in Anaheim. They've already come out with renderings and said that they want to renovate the surrounding area. So I'm not going to say that's endangered. I think the Honda Center is just, it looks pretty ugly from the exterior but they're saying they want to keep the exterior design and possibly do a renovation surrounding the area. So at this point, the Honda Center probably not endangered considering they are looking to renovate it, but it's another one that I would kind of keep my eye on just because it's a little bit older, built in 93. The SAP Center was built in 93 as well. Those arenas are aging at this point. I think the SAP Center aging a little bit better there is a very stark difference when you look at the exteriors of those two arenas. The SAP Center just looks so much more modern, but those are two arenas. The Honda Center possibly getting a renovation soon. If it doesn't happen, I could see them try and push for a new arena. And then you do have the SAP Center. I would say a lighter renovation could be in order where they improve the interior of it mainly, but I certainly do not think the arena is endangered. So when it comes to endangered stadiums or arenas, the number one on the list has to be the Oakland Coliseum. That's the next major stadium in the state of California that will be demolished. And then you're also looking at potentially Angel Stadium, maybe being a dark horse, maybe getting demolished in 2030 or 2031. With the Rose Bowl, I would expect getting some type of renovation. Really all they need to do to the Rose Bowl, I would say, is change out all of the seats, modernize them, and possibly have a nice little exterior renovation where they close up the exterior. Right now, it's really hollow, and that's pretty much all they would do. You look at the LA Coliseum, that's going to be around for a while, I'm sure. It is interesting with the LA Coliseum, very little shade. USC is going to be playing a lot of 730 Pacific games against Big Ten opponents, possibly really good Big Ten opponents. So that'll be interesting to see. I, it's going to be tough to kind of schedule that if you think about it, because if Ohio State goes to USC, you're not going to be scheduling them at 730 Pacific time because that's 1030 Eastern. You probably are forced to do a 430 Pacific time start and hope the shadows cross over the field and maybe the game's in October. So it's a little bit you know, better in terms of less sun, but USC does have an issue to where if they play a game, whether it's noon Pacific, whether it's 3.30, they're going to deal with some empty seats because there's very little cover at the LA Coliseum. Again, I think they did a great job on the renovation. The LA Coliseum, is it opening or closing the Olympics? I think it's closing the Olympics. SoFi, I, I think is opening, but it's going to be in the Olympics. It looks great. The red seats are beautiful. And they obviously had a much more extensive renovation where they took out a bunch of seats behind the one sideline and put up a massive like suite area with club exclusive seating and all of that. But there was no overhang or anything like that. I mean, the LA Coliseum is so massive going around. It's just a giant bowl. It would be really hard to actually execute an overhang or a, ro or a roof because of the amount of ground you have to cover so they didn't do any of that. But either way, guys, that's just my opinion. 
The Oakland Coliseum is the next major stadium to be demolished in this state. And then I would say Angel Stadium after that with the Rose Bowl possibly getting a renovation and also the Honda Center, a renovation as well. If you really wanted to be picky about it, you could also throw the Kia Forum in there. But the thing with the Kia Forum, even though it's really old, they're giving it a renovation for the 2028 Olympics and it's hosting gymnastics events. So there's just no way you could say it's endangered if they are renovating it. That's owned by Steve Ballmer in Inglewood. I wonder if they would, I don't know what they're going to do with that, considering there's going to be a new arena like right next to it, the Intuit Dome. But if it is, maybe it's just getting renovated for the Olympics, like a temporary thing. And then they're possibly demolishing it and using the land for development. But building anything in Inglewood is so expensive. So I don't know what they're going to do to the Kia Forum, but it will be technically around until at least, I would say, 2028 or 2029 because the Olympics are in 2028 and it will be hosting events. And you can see it looks like they've already updated and renovated the exterior of the Kia Forum as well. So guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.